for the electric blues and I actually have the jet silvers in hand. And the reason why is because I had an issue with the electric blue. The issue was one of the touch functions didn't work properly. And there was the play pause answer and in call function. It just wouldn't work to save its life. I, I tried different variations of tap features and tap functions as you can see in, in this tap. You have double tap to play pause, double tap to in answer or in call. You also have your tap on the right to volume up, tap on the left to volume down. You have tap and hold on the right for two seconds for active noise cancellation. You have tap and hold on the left for ambient sound. So now all the functions work except for play pause, answer and call which is the most basic feature you can have on any earbud, whether it's a haptic style earbud, whether it's a button style earbud, that's just the nature of it all. That's, you gotta have that. And I wasn't getting that. At first I was getting frustrated. I was like, enough to say, hey, look, I can't recommend these at any price point. Don't get them. But then a buddy of mine was like, If everything else works and that's the only thing that doesn't work, maybe it's just that particular set of earbuds. So I was like, you know what? You're right. Raycon has a 45 day money back guarantee. You know what? Let's, let's do that. So I went through the process of exchanging earbuds, chose a different color. We got the Jet Silver, sent those back, got these in the mail, put them through the same tests. And interestingly enough, I didn't have that issue, but there is one caveat. You can't just use the tip of your finger, you literally have to use this part of your finger, right there. Yeah, that part. And there's something about when you're trying to tap the logo uh, and you see it, you immediately want to tap like that. You really want to just put your, your fingertip on it, but that's not how you do it. You, you really need to touch the entire circular portion of the earbud to volume up or to play pause and answer and call. And it's really about that speed. It's about this speed right here. Just tap, 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 tap. And that's how you do it. It was kind of a, I was a little nervous because I was like, man, this seems like these aren't working either. But once I kind of figured out the speed of it and you had literally had to touch the entire circular portion, then I had no issues whatsoever. Now, ambient, um, ambient sound, active noise cancellation, no issues with that. Volume up, volume down, no issues with that. Everything works the way it's supposed to, but it's not as great as you would think. One thing I don't like about the ambient sound, it does sound a little computerized, a little digital, instead of sounding more natural for it to have as many uh, microphones as it touts, as you saw in the unboxing portion of this video, but it does work. It does work. And the key thing you might want to consider when you're doing this is make sure you have the right ear tips in here. One thing I did like about this unboxing and this iteration of earbuds from Raycon is they didn't use a little janky, metal uh, ear tip holder uh, from the past. You can see in the other videos, I'll throw cards up here so you can check them out. They actually used a plastic case, which actually had the earbuds in a linear fashion, and they look better and it's easier to manage. So make sure you get the right ear tip size to help. This part of the magic of the noise cancellation and the ambient sound is not to have the sound leaking past the tip of the earbud that's in your ear. Like right now, I actually have ambient sound going as I'm speaking to you guys. So I use these at work, I use these at the gym, I use them in day-to-day -day practice, and I literally use the music, talking on the phone, doing Marco Polo videos, dual calls. People had no problems hearing me, I had no problems hearing them. Great quality as far as call quality, uh, people hearing me, crystal clear sound. Music, of course, with all the Raycon's products, they just don't get loud enough for me. They just don't get loud enough for me now. Is the audio quality there? Yes, it's a very clean, flat sound, but they just do not get loud enough for me. I wish they could just get a, a, about a decibel to a louder, as I said in, in previous videos. Even with the headphones, the over-ear headphones, my H20s, just not loud enough. Like, I, you know, I want that, uh, I want a higher ceiling. Doesn't mean I'm necessarily gonna use, but I want the higher ceiling because when I listen to a certain song and I wanna get pumped, I, I just need that volume there. Now, listening to music and using ambient sound, not the best combination if you are listening to loud music, you listen to music loud, rather. It's hard to focus on that person, what they're saying, and then also listen to the music. Now, if there was a, they set up the feature where 
the volume will lower automatically while you're using ambient sound so you can hear better what somebody is saying. That'd be super dope. I would think they would you know, probably want to explore that in the next generation of these, but it doesn't do that. So use that wisely. The active noise cancellation, which I'm gonna turn on now. Like I said, it works pretty well. I can hear my voice, it does sound more muted. Ambient noises that I have, I got my fan going in, uh, in the bedroom. Uh, cars passing by, you really can't hear them. When I snap my finger, it's a little muffled. This is not a perfect active noise cancellation situation because your ears still are exposed to the outward environment. Um, I may be talking a little bit louder. That's because I, I do have these on. And uh, the one cool thing to note is you can switch from ambient sound to active noise cancellation without having to turn them off. You can go literally from active noise cancellation to, to ambient on and you'll hear the voice prompt or you can go back to active noise cancellation. ANC on. So you can play around with these and not really have to go through extra steps to use the features and the functions, which is pretty dope. Now let's talk about the price. These are priced at $149.99 shipped. A little steep because Raycon has always touted itself to be the more affordable brand with comparable sound quality and features and functions. And I get it. They're, they're packing a lot of features in here. It's all touch that has some, you know, that, that comes with a production cost, a higher production cost than the E25s, the E55s, etc. But it has to be executed very well. If you're really starting to go into that market and trying to encroach on a space that you see uh, companies like Apple leaving, uh, where they're, they're pricing their products a lot higher because you got the AirPod Pros, they're over 200 or better, and you see them doing the AirPod Max, uh, AirPod Max, which the name doesn't make sense to me, and their price, and those are 550 bucks, and you're starting to move up in that space, you gotta make sure you execute well. And I think these do okay, but there's a lot of little things I wish they did a lot better. I, I really don't like having to really just like lay my finger on the earbud, because you're pressing into your ear. It's not necessarily uncomfortable, uh, just more of an annoyance than anything. And with that being said, can I recommend these? If you're able to get the discount code, 15% off, I say go for it. At 150 bucks, the way they are now, I'd be a little leery of person right now because of everything's not executed very well. But they do work, they have all the functions and features they say they have. I just wish it was executed a lot better than what it is. Now, do I want them to stop reaching for higher heights? No, I want them to do the best they can with the available uh, materials that they have. But let's clean it up and let's get everything really tight in the tolerance so you can compete and start to compete on these upper tier levels and to have a greater product range for the future. With that being said, guys, hit the links in the description below if you do want to get a pair of the E85s or if you want to get the E25s, E55s. I also have those videos. Go check those out to see my unboxings and reviews on those products. Uh, remember, here, we buy everything that what you see that I review. So it's always coming from a consumer standpoint, and it's not a paid advertisement. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Until next time, peace and blessings. I say. Real quick, family, go over to K. Lamar and follow them on IG. Also, go over to their YouTube channel, K. Lamar, and hit that subscribe button. Let's show some love for Oklahoma City's baddest couple. You know what I'm saying? Hashtag black love. Peace and blessing, family. Let's get it.